All right, guys. So we're on the bench today. Uh, I made up this little setup so at home so I could do quick videos. Uh, especially with the handguns, I can't take them anywhere other than the range. And the last video was tons of snow out there, and now it's all melted. But it's just a mud bug. I drove out there, and there's no way I'm getting through into that. They're totally ruining the the trails, the tire trails that go in there, and uh, it's just a it's just a mud bug. So. I figured, well, I'll do these at home. I've already had both of these guns to the range. And today we're going to talk about the Jericho 941. So, these both of these guns were used. They're currently both uh, unlocked and safe and all that good that YouTube likes to make you do. Because, um, like, if I, may, I accidentally shot myself, I'm going to put that on YouTube. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. A lot of their guns rules have changed. Can't show you how to put on them. I don't even know if you, I can show you putting in a mag anymore. They're getting really picky about what they allow it on YouTube, and I don't know if it's YouTube per se, on its own, or if it's uh, the government putting the heat on them. I'm not really sure. But anyways, so this is the first one. This is a 941, a single action, nice crisp trigger. It's nice and clean, like it, like. If that's three pound trigger, I'd be surprised. Uh, single action only. Uh, these guns come apart nice and quick. They're uh, literally match the dots up at the back. Pop the pin. And voila, you're done. It's, it's apart. Ugh. And you're stripped down and you can give her a good clean in like that. Goes back together just as easily. Drop your barrel in there. Obviously I've cleaned up and, and redone all of these parts. So these guns were sort of dirty when I got them. The one was literally full of pocket lint. Slide her back together here. Goes back together nice and easy. You just line up the dots on the side. And that's it. Tear down and and complete ray of rock again. So why do I have two? You might ask. And it wasn't to be uh, like I want to be a rootin' tootin' cowboy, uh, bebop cowboy, I guess, with these things. Because when I looked up grips, that's what I found. Even though it didn't make any sense, I didn't know what it was. And it's some Chinese cartoon. But anyways, but the real story is how I ended up with two. Um, I ordered, these were fairly cheap in Canada, especially compared to the U.S. where guys were paying upwards of $2,000 for one of these. And, you know, I'm sure they were much like pristine, never fired. And then guys would get them and it was like, obviously it's been fired and it's got wear on it. Now who knows how many rounds these have had through them. Uh... I can only tell you what I've put through them, and this one's been about 500 rounds. That one's only been about 100 rounds. Uh, this one itself, I ordered online through a town that's 40 minutes from where I live. Uh, it was supposed to be a stainless steel with the decocker. It was not supposed to be a regular F model. It was an R model, I think they are. This was supposed to be stainless steel, and I opened it, and I pull out. I see a black gun. I was not a happy camper. And here in Canada, by the time you wait for all that paperwork and everything to go through, it's already in your name. So when you get called to go pick it up and you get there and it's not the right gun, even though you show them on the website, they said they didn't have any stainless and they hadn't for a long time, like years. And I said, why is it advertised on your site? And I showed him the actual ad and called him out on his BS and so he gave me like a hundred bucks worth it to take this and shut up but i'll never go back there just because of that and i don't want to give him a bad name or whatever because other guy i know other people that think they're great so that's how i ended up with two it wasn't to be cool it wasn't to be for any other reason and so originally i thought well no big deal i'll give my son one i'll give my son the other one and i'll order another one that i wanted but that's not the way it worked out because the ban came into effect and 
you weren't finding anything that was in stock. So I tried to buy a stainless one of these, another one, and everywhere I went, literally across the country on the websites, and they were all gone. Um, it didn't matter what model it was, they were gone. So now, now they're in my name, and they can, according to Trudeau, never be uh, handed down to my sons. I would give, I have two boys, I'd give each boy a right a gun and divvy up the gun like the rifles whatever and um like now I, when i die they just want to destroy them which to me is ridiculous i hope the conservatives get back in there as quickly as possible and bring some sanity back to uh, canada uh when i got these this one had a whole lot of pocket lint like some of you've been carrying around their pocket for years um like so much so that I was, I thought if you fired this, it could potentially catch fire. Um, so it, they both got a thorough cleaning. I've touched, obviously went around with some cold blue and, and touched up all the marks and cleaned them all up. They look pretty good. They like, they almost look new now and I'm not going to complain certainly because they shoot nice. I don't find that there's a lot of kick with them. So for magazines, each came with a mag, like you picked up a new mag. So these two are CZ75 40 cals. So with the 40 cal being so close to the nine millimeter, I thought, oh, well, I'll try that. And uh, sure enough, I found online that somebody else had uh, already tried that and they worked. So I went and picked up a couple of these and then I picked these up. Uh, these were 20, I wanna say 28.99 or so a piece uh, for CZ75 40 cals. And they worked with the nine millimeters. They uh, they do the, they hold the slide back when empty. Everything works good and they're good to go. I would highly recommend if you're looking for magazines, those are the ones to get because they're cheap and they work great and you have no worries and they hold 10 rounds. Um, in Canada, 10 rounds is 10 rounds and that's all you get uh, unless it's on a rimfire style rifle. Uh, rimfires are the only ones that can hold more than 10 rounds and YouTube uh, caps out at 30. So if you have a, a drum mag that holds 100 rounds, YouTube will get on you if you show them if you're using one of those for anything, rim fire or center fire. I'm fighting a bit of a cold here, guys, but uh, these aren't going to be long drawn out videos because we're not getting to shoot these, but we'll get out and shoot them as soon as possible and we'll do a handgun day at the range and we'll we'll take both of these and the 45 will get out and fire off a couple hundred rounds and have some fun and so until then uh what do we got coming up we got coming up we're gonna get the new uh pull a computer out of the new kawasaki and send it off to ivan's down south in uh, i think it's franklin north carolina just north of there get the computer done on it and by the time it gets back we'll have the lowering links for the back we'll drop the front end down to match and get that thing prepped for the summer because since I work midnight shift uh, my son is I'm just gonna ride it at night when I bring it home in the morning he can jump on and take it to work and we'll ride that as our commuter most of the summer because uh, it's a lot cheaper on fuel than powering a 5.7 Hemi or or the uh, 4.8 uh, Chevy and, and Sierra so I got the Sierra all done I'll try to get a, a video up of that just because it's all finished and I've been working on it. I've had it for probably five years. It just never was a priority until I wanted it out of my garage. So that's what we got coming up, guys. So if you haven't already, guys, please hit the like and subscribe. We'll try to get more videos up uh, and more consistently. And the more people that are subscribed, the more I feel like I need to hurry up and get busy and make videos. And even though it's pretty tough at working nights, uh, I'll start making it a priority to do at least one a week. So uh, until I, until the next time, guys, take care and uh, keep the rubber side down.